We were the ones who went to Bumet County at Tenue High School to present our projects. So basically we are going to redo it as we did this time, just omitting a few things. Are you good at that? Yeah. Yes. Awesome. So good evening everyone. My name is Joshua Nere. And I am Sunil Baraka. We are here to present our projects in computer science from Mary Short School, Kajado County. The title of our project is Global Eye. First, background information. Who knows when the first CCTV camera was invented? The first camera was invented in 1942. They were invented during the testing of missiles, the V2 missiles that were used in the Second World War. Unfortunately, these missiles were very dangerous, so the scientists had to come up with a way of monitoring them while they were being tested and also while they were in the field. In later years, around 1949, they were commercialized and used in public, where they were used to monitor large crowds, when significant public speakers were held up somewhere, they were used to monitor them. They were used in bus stations, train stations, and also in walkways. Later on in the 1970s, they were used to monitor homes. In the 1980s, they were used in schools and other institutions such as hospitals and prisons. These were used to monitor children in cameras called nanny camps to monitor children when they were at home and also some were used to catch cheating spouses. In schools, they were used to monitor children's behavior and also in management of patients in hospitals and prisoners in prisons as well. The objectives of the projects are to one, analyze images captured by CCTV cameras and two, link those analyzed images to a database that contains details of all the students found in that school. The limitation of this on the merit side, first, since it is software based, it is easily applicable, it, is, it can be used to provide evidence in case of any court cases, and since it, is, since it uses CCTV cameras, it is compatible with all of them, including a simple Logitech 270 camera that we were, we were able to use here, but for now we are using a simple camera for our laptop. On the demerit side, Yes, it's true that it is efficient, but it will not help solve crime completely. Remember that the system is not to eliminate, it's not to replace cameras, but to increase the efficiency by doing, as I said before, analyzing the images and linking the images to the database that contains the details. So now it is time for Baraka to show you how the program actually works. Our program and for us to 
for us to create a database and to initiate the camera system, we needed uh, two Python modules. Python modules are kind of like libraries that extend the functionality of a programming language. For this, we chose OpenCV, which uh, is the one that initiates our camera system, and uh, Pico library, which is the one that is responsible for creating a database of the students and linking the database to the camera system. Now, our uh, program uh, followed two procedures. The first procedure was to analyze the face of an individual. For this, we used the OpenCV library, which provides uh, an artificial intelligence model. It's called the hard cascade model. It uses an algorithm to determine the coordinates of someone's face and provide the coordinates in a number of formats. So, for that, we use the number of formats to draw the rectangle you see in the red rectangle on the face. Uh, and also, we use for the second procedure, is where we created a database and links the database to the program itself. For us to create that database, we used the second Python library, which was the Pico library, which created the database and uh, took our images and put them in the database and links the names to the images. Uh, and now I'd like to give Joshua to continue. So you see, I think you can start from the camera again. Then, this red rectangle is the program working. It sees your face, shows details about you at the top. That's basically our program. So in conclusion, as you can see, the program works. And when well developed, it can be used to be, it can even be used in signing in and signing out of workers instead of just using the biometrics. We would like to recommend our projects for research to use other better ways of identifying full body images because it can't work as nice. It can't work like when it's poor lighting, so we're also trying to use nice vision cameras. We thank the school for giving us the opportunity to present these projects at the Kenya Science Engineering Fair, the 15th edition for 2023, and also to thank all of you for your support as you went house. That is our project. Thank you for your time.